probably the largest engine I've ever heard running. We're taking a helicopter to Monaco. If the Monaco Yacht Club is ready for us. These two guys are kind of the rebels. This would go about 100, 120 kilometers an hour. I don't know what this is no. in miles. What? Just no, nuts. you're crazy. No, you you are. guys are nuts. <laughs> Who so, does this? So <laughs> Ready for this? Okay, so cute! Today we're taking some time off from the Cannes Yachting Festival for a very good reason. Now you know, we are here for Monaco Classic Week. Right, we're here and the first point on the agenda is the skipper's meeting. Follow me. getting ready to give us a briefing about the day, exactly how it's gonna go, the weather, all that good stuff. So we have Carla and Samuel with us today. You guys all know them. They're designing our boat and we decided it would be really fun to spend the day together, just take some time off can, have a fabulous day in Monaco. So how did this come about? A couple years ago, Michael reached out to us, one of our subscribers, and said, hey, we do this really cool event every year in Monaco. It's Monaco Classic Week. You guys should come. Um, we have a steam... A steam lounge from 1911. 1911. What the heck is that? I think it's been like two and a half years in the yeah, making, somehow. right? So we kept, we kept in touch and we kept, it just never worked out. And this year we finally said, you know what? Sorry, Ken Yachting Festival. We're going to take a day off. We're going to fly to Monaco and we're going to finally attend this Monaco Classic Week, but the main big reason why is because they've got not just one, but two boats here that belong to them. Trying to explain what they do, they basically restore some incredible vessels 
This is one of them. Tell us what this is. Uh, this is a hacker craft from 1923, archive number 219, engine by a Royce Royce Meteor uh, engine with 27 liters. What? Like how old is the engine? As old as a boat? Or, or? This is not the original engine. I tried to make it a little bit faster. So we have a collector who collects flight and boat engines and then we he, he builds them into old boats. So, so how fast is this? Thing? Um, this would go about 100, 120 kilometers an hour. I don't know what this is no. in miles. What? Yeah, really? you're serious. No. Yeah, you're serious. Yesterday we were driving on, on 900, how you call it? RPM. With 60 kilometers an hour. And actually it asks you to go up to 3000 RPM. And you should do that so the engine keeps uh, the right temperature at right one point. We consumed about, in 10 minutes, we consumed about 80 liters. <laughs> so you, you cannot go on holiday it's with that a, Let's one. just say it's a fun ride. Yeah, actually, we have like 460 liters in the back and it's only for, the tank is only for the race. It's yeah. a re pure racing boat. And uh, at the time being, it was running uh, with another engine, and it was for four years. It was winning all the races in America. Wow! Yeah. So this is Wildcat. This dock is. Yeah, it's a it's a floating. I dock. feel like I'm drunk. It's, it's a surfing. Not, it's, it's a not surfing even dock. twelve o'clock yet. Okay, we're gonna show you the second boat, which is a steam ship. Off record, these two guys are kind of the rebels of these Monaco Classic League. Oh, no. Off record. <laughs> but they are the ones that make it fun. So we always want to stick with the fun people. So here we are. This is going to be a lot of fun. And we finally, for the first time in my life and in yours, right? Yes. Get to go on a real steam ship. You guys already know Michael. This is Carson. Hi, Carson. Nice to Hi. meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Owner and the founder of Outerboard Berlin. Well pronounced. I did? I did yeah, it good? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Cool. you did good, you did good. So just a few seconds ago he had gloves on and he was full blown doing something. It's like a whole preparation, right? It's, yeah, yeah. it's not a simple process. You need to kind of heat up everything and check and control everything. 20 minutes after getting on board, you can just get the serene and the horn and get out of the harbor. What's the, what's the history of this boat? It was built by Savory in Birmingham. The engine, it is a Harris Hoff Hall, which also uh, mentioned in the Harris Hoff archive. And it was a, um, a dinghy, tender, tender. A, ten, a tender oh, of the sailing yacht. Not only a tender, but also a, tuck, a tugboat of the, ten, of the sailing yacht. It has a lot of torque. It, it is a very low point of gravity and it's really great for maneuverability. 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 The maneuverability is just amazing. Say that three times in a row. Maneuverability, yeah, right. maneuverability, <laughs> maneuverability, maneuverability. So, oh, I can do it. And naturally, as it is also the, how you call it, rescue boat, yeah. you have an extreme range because that engine is a closed steam circuit with a high pressure tank inside and uh, it's extremely economical. Yeah. Huh. Originally used to be powered by coal, by yes. fire. Yes, yes, yes. By wood and coke and we did the system was changed in 1995 of gasoline. So it's now a diesel or gasoline? Diesel, 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 diesel. diesel. Okay. diesel. The same. In yeah. German say gasoline, diesel is the same so in makes, the boat. So it makes it a little easier, right? Oh yeah, it's not so dangerous. <laughs> it's amazing. Can't yeah. wait to actually uh, go, for, go for a spin. Thanks, Thanks so much. And we are sailing. Here we go. Here we oh, close your ears. It is, it is rough, it's rough there, really it's rough. We should have went the other way around maybe. We, huh? we go around our uh, starboard side and then it's a little bit... Okay. Okay. Right. I, I, the sound! So Michael, what is this? Uh, this is our wine cellar. <laughs> 
wines. We hate we hate producing garbage, so we are using bag in box wine. So you have like five liters. You can get like high end rosé because this steam lounge only works with rosé on board. If not, it's not manual. Makes sense. It makes, makes sense. sense. Forward and reverse or only forward? Just the That is forward. We have reverse also. So here we have like a tiny bar. Who wants rosé? Oh, look at that. Okay, you know, when in Rome, I mean, when in Monaco. <laughs> oh, Sam, yeah. what do you think? No. You're not joking. It's really I'm not rose. joking. Oh, I got the best spot in the, on the boat. Right next to the bar. Wait, am I, I, do, am yeah, I doing it right? Yeah, it's too cold. Yeah, no, it was... Oh, it's really cold. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed okay. to. Thank you for inviting us. I'm so glad it worked out. It was supposed to pour, have crazy rain today. So, cheers to it meant to be. Thanks for having us on board. Cheers. Thank you, Carsten. Cheers. Victoria, thanks cheers for coming. Cheers to the Monaco Yacht Club. Cheers. And cheers, cheers to cheers, good Carla. friends and Monaco Cheers, Rico. Classes. Thanks cheers. a lot. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Carsten. Cheers. Cheers. We're sharing. I think for a lot of people, this is going to be a unique experience that they've never get a chance to be on board of something like this. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit more of? Yes, no problem. How it that, works? That's in steam engine. Yes. The front one machinery was steam. The horse, the steam, the gasoline, and benzene fuel. And benzene. Yeah, 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 benzene, German people say yeah. benzene. Okay, that's work with steam. Normally, you bring it here inside the wood, or coal, heat it, and that is the boiler. The boiler warm it up, and in the highest point comes the steam in home from the, when you uh, cook coffee. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, like it's that. the same, the same. The, the, but the bubbles, yeah. Are, yeah, yeah, that's they steam. Rise. That okay. is steam. steam. And the steam goes then that pipe, in the engine. The engine has two cylinders, one low pressure, one high pressure. The steam goes inside, pressed it over vent tiles, down, and the, what is the name in English? Crank us. Crank, crank, crankshaft? Crankshaft is running. When we go, just a moment. So does the boat have a transmission? I show you. When I stop the engine, that is the gas. Ah. Never, never touch it without uh, gloves. Yes, yes. So it's hot. Oh. Engine is stopped. Huh. That goes higher, and the vent tiles inside are set. And when I open, the engine is running back. So yes. do you constantly have to fill water? Yes, yes, yes. We have a water, water deposit. Water tank? Water tank. We have two yep. water tanks, one left and one right. And that's what that water goes every time around. There's no goes out only with, with that one. No, no, I don't do that. Okay. I don't do that. It's too long. It's too long. What's, the, what's the second one? That's a Z rain for other signal when you're in a harbor. That is, I come inside the harbor, uh -huh. oh, a ship comes. Yeah. And that is a Z rain when it's, please hold it fast and a little bit more in front and a little bit more back. That is a uh, signal. Really? The, for the company. For the regatta? From, no, 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 for the company from the sailing yacht. Original was a towing, towing tender for yeah. sail yachts. Uh I need that on my car. I need that, <gasps> that on the truck. That's amazing. That's so cool. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm so glad you don't have this on your car. That is all what I can tell you. Every time. Oh, a little bit of oil. The engine needs oil. Just a moment. We do it. We go a little bit in front and I. I fill it up the oil. Check here. That's it. With reservoir. worms. That is worms. And that's the reservoir. Zack. So just for lubrication? Yes, that's for lubrication. Well, there's no oil pressure, only, oh, please help me, Verlust. Yep, just uh, whatever's getting used. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Oh, oh, okay. What's that? Oh, okay. Jewelry.
No engine Same sound really. You can check the level oh. in the boiler and uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's important not too low. Yeah, Dennis. It's the same in the you don't have any, any yeah, steam yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What temperature is the uh, from the 100 to 100, 180 yes. grad degrees? Wow, Celsius. Celsius. How fast can you go with that? Uh, 12 knots. Wow. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Not bad at all. Uh, when the tank's not full, not so much people on board, yeah. 12 knots. <laughs> you can race for race events. <laughs> we just put it in the last corner of our shipyard. Yeah. And 10 days before we leave, we try if it still works. And, and it oil, works every time. It works every time because technically it's just so simple. You already know before when a problem comes because you hear a little noise or a little more distance or something. Yeah. So entertainment costs nearly nearly zero at least compared to other vessels like the maintenance of it there's not much you need to do you just Nothing. wow that's crazy yeah. this is probably how monaco yacht club looked like back in the days <laughs> with yeah. all these boats just like that just transport myself back there Guys, are happy you got to join us? Incredible. Little yes. time wow. off. Very nice. What an awesome experience. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. This is what life is all about. Little moments. Of course, we had to go back to Berlin to the origins of how this all started. <laughs> on this 1915 classic boat passing by the old Berlin where Berlin actually started. It's called what? Köpenick. Köpenick? Köpenick. 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 Berlin Köpenick. Berlin Köpenick. You think we're gonna make it? just arrived at the shipyard but we could not get off this boat without giving you a full quick little tour so let's go check it out it starts raining so we should probably do the exterior yeah. fairly quick the quick aft, tour the cockpit and then the history the aft cockpit exactly so we have sitting here on both sides foldable table let's switch okay look at all these old brass cleats we have here bullets wow oh it Beautiful. really starts raining okay yeah. so they have storage in all of these build it in like all little details of modern comfort, water filters. I mean, this yacht is as classic as you can imagine on the exterior and then the design, but it is modern, all nice features of comfort on the interior, which is what we like about the classic yachts, right? This so I want to steal, I want to steal it from you. This boat was built in 1915. Okay, let's go inside. It's totally starting to rain, which makes it even cuter in here so real quick the history of this vessel so it was built in 1915 in germany in berlin at the klaus engelbrecht show shipyard off. show off. shipyard i almost wanted to say it in german <laughs> <laughs> that was doing world war one time it was not allowed to complete 
any pleasure crafts during that time in Germany. Nevertheless, this was the only pleasure craft completed in 1915 for the owner, the boss, of AEG Electronics, which then became Siemens, and it still is Siemens. It's, I think, Electrolux in America. So very, very cool. This was his private yacht. I have a feeling the only reason he was able to complete it is because I know back then Siemens did a whole bunch of stuff for the military, right? You mean he knew somebody? So he probably knew somebody, knew okay. somebody, and so this was his private yacht. But okay, so enough with the history lesson. What do we have? Let's do it. We're just gonna go quickly through, almost like out of sequence, but I think you guys can put it together because we'll go, go aft to forward, and strangely we're gonna start with our accommodations. Yes. Let's put it this way. Okay, so all the way aft, First of all, we have this staircase that you can actually fold back and remove and you have technical area access where the generator mm -hmm. is and everything here. So I'm not going to show you that, but you can imagine. Here we have a little bit of storage, actually a pretty huge walk-in closet. <laughs> yeah, it's massive. Then right here, first of all, let's talk about this quick. I just learned this. It's called Bacalit. Bacalit, right? Yeah, Bacalit. It is basically what came before plastic. Yeah. So it's the original so 1920s. It's, ori it's the original. It's not the original, but it's the 1920s real bacalite made of bacalite, wow. not made out of plastic. Wow, but amazing. look how cute this is. And it's yeah. the infinity or whatever that's called, you know? Yeah, don't break it. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> All right, let me show you this. So this is a cute little sitting area, sitting nook, but it also converts into an actual bed. Check this out. And you have a pretty good sized bed going all the way there. Of course, the cushions are stored even here for right two now. People. I mean, even two oh, yeah, people yeah. could sleep there. Two people, absolutely easy. Very cool. You can close this door and have your privacy. Oh, you got a sliding door, yeah. Yep. Pocket, Pocket door here. Pocket door. And then look at these portholes. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Let's Heavy go, duty. quick okay. tour, quick tour. Quick tour. Okay, quick tour. Because we want to see the shipyard. So we're entering into our salon. I'll give you a little bit more light. Ta there we go. Is it better? With the Way light? better, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I kind of like that other mood lighting. I thought it was really cute. So we have spent the last hour and a half on this vessel. Yes. And I have to say, I'm not always the biggest fan of classic boats. I love this boat. Really, honestly, truly love this boat. I would spend weeks on this boat and would really, really like it. It is so cozy. This isn't a fully original how it was. There was more rooms, more separation. So they kept everything they could original. And then they took the wood that they took out, like out of the walls and stuff, they recycled it into creating, you know, the rest of this design. So basically think of it, the skeleton is original and then everything else was sort of changed, but as close as possible to the original. And they did an amazing job. And the owners of this vessel are actually using it weeks at a time. They love it. So you so, have tons of storage. Yeah, like just one quick little thing. I know you guys want to see the rest of the boat. This boat has over 700 hours already on the engine and the engine was put in brand new about four years ago, uh, three years ago. They started to refit in 2016, completed by 2018. Okay, so 18, so five years years ago yes so you guys can actually see like over 700 hours on the engines this boat is getting used and it's amazing it's not just sitting as a museum piece somewhere I love it still looks completely brand new so we have actually a stove here check this out two burner yeah yeah so cute we've got a sink we also have our drawer fridges beautiful countertop I mean you guys just take it all in. And, it's and not a typical tour. We just want to show you quickly like Victoria, how incredible this like, is. Like Victoria said, some of the cabinet tree is original and then they matched exactly like the original on other parts which didn't have the cabinet tree. So it looks incredible. The woodwork is phenomenal. They also were able to put an electric TV lift. Oh no, so really? So yeah, TV comes out of here. It's so cool. All of these cute little areas. There's storage everywhere. I mean, just Look at all the little details, little small details. The vents for the heater. I mean, it's yeah. all, how, what about the heater? Why is it so nice and warm in here? It's so nice and warm in here because this vessel has two diesel heaters. Ah. So one for the forward part, one for the aft part. Yeah. And they work really well. It's so warm in here. You guys, it's actually really cold outside and it is so cozy and cute. And I honestly would love to spend some and more time here. it's chilly outside right now, a little bit of rain and it just feels so nice in here. Pocket door right here. Then we have our head. I mean, for the sakes of space, you get to show it. Oh, wow, and it's really warm in here. 
So cozy. Single head with a privacy porthole. They even have a mosquito screen. Check this out. Yeah, mosquito screen for the head window. Oh, it's so cute. Let me turn the light off. And there's also a mosquito screen actually going to the aft companion way. Also has a mosquito screen. Really? Yeah, a slide in one. Then we have our shower, a full walk in shower. Oh, wow. This, <laughs> this is huge. Wow. Big shower, nice sink. Rigo and I recently were looking into doing a river cruise, mm -hmm. actually on the Rhine. Donup, not the Rhine. What did I say? Donup. Donup is what I meant to say. Donup. Donau. Donau. Yeah. And I could imagine cruising in this for like weeks at the time. Okay, moving forward. Okay, going up to our pilot house. Oh, okay, I'll let you do this. Okay. Well, first of all, let's talk about this behind you. So, companion way. You can insert this piece of wood right in here and then cover it with the pad. So you have a nice layout pad here for longer journeys. If you're a couple, so you know, cozy. one is sitting in the director's chair or standing here, and you have this nice layout pad as well behind you. You have a little bit of a bench here. This folds up and can become a seat as well. You can sit here, put your back here, put your feet on top here. They really Beautiful. thought about everything. Really, really detail. well thought through. There's a little pop-up table here for some drinks nice. underway. This was actually an open area here. Ah. So back in the days, the driver, the chauffeur, <laughs> was just sitting outside. So this was after the fact enclosed. And look at this beautiful craftsmanship, the way it's built, amazing. And this is a convertible top. You can take these out here, ah. take the cover off, and you can actually open it up if you wanted to. So cool. Another cool thing, we're standing on top of the engine room here. Okay, but let's do the helm first. Okay, like I said, everything looks old, but behind it, it's all brand new. Raymarine, VHF radio, all new switches, new instrumentation, a brand new Volvo Penta 150 horsepower D3 engine. Of course, new electronics, new Raymarine chart plotter, bow and stern thruster. Nice. So this boat is super easy to maneuver and we just took it out on a sea trial to come over to the shipyard here and it's extremely quiet. I say, how is it possible that it's so quiet? So let me show you. Okay. We have the engine room right underneath here. Oh wow. And then look at these little details. Here's the thing, here's a hook and there you go. What about everything? So we have the, look the insulation. Yeah, it's a super, super dense, thick insulation and you don't hear anything. It is so quiet. It's incredible. Volvo D3 engine here. We have some battery equipment there, electrical equipment, easy accessibility. This folds up as well. Wow. Yeah, we'll have to remove the chair, of course, for it. So now, how do you think they got this engine in here? Well, yeah, through this. You just crane it right in. If you have to change any equipment, you open it up, you crane it in, you're done. All right, close it up. We got to still show the guys the shipyard, so... Not just the shipyard, but own sleeping quarters. Yes, yes, I know. That's why I'm hurrying you up. Okay. Oh, you're going to do it. Okay, go ahead. Fine. I'm going to open it up if for you. If you guys thought this was all, you were wrong. I will open it up for you. There we go. Okay, you guys are ready for this? Okay, so cute. Welcome to our forward stateroom. Very, very comfy bed. Look at all these portholes, it's so adorable. I mean, all the creatures of comfort, look, like this beautiful oh, yeah. light. Night reading light. Yeah, and you have a white one as well. And then how about this emergency bilge pump here? Is that wow. what that is? That is exactly what it is. I believe this little funnel on top might be a primer or something to potentially put some water in to prime the pump. Oh, Pretty cool. Let me show you the rest. Yes. So we have a couple of hooks here. There is an actual closet here, a hanging locker. There's a little bit more storage. It's really adorable. So let's go check out the original old part of the shipyard. This boat was built here. In 1915. In this shipyard. This whole area back in the days, First and Second World War, was very heavily involved in the weaponry industry. So it was bombed, majorly bombed oh, okay. in the Second World War. And the majority of this shipyard where this vessel was built was bombed except one part, one building, and that's where we're going to go and check it out. No way. Let's yes. do it. All right. Wow. Look at this. Wow. I've seen photos and finally we're here. Okay, just for me to understand, this is an original building from the shipyard. Yes, the, only the last hall that's in an original uh, condition from 1936. So everything yeah. else got destroyed. This Everything is the only shed that survived. Only, yes. 
Yes. Wow. Crazy. Was. So is this also an Engelbrecht boat? Yes, the name is Pan. The same as the Mercedes. Yeah. 190. There yeah. is Pan. That was the type. Was it cast in steel or in wood? Oh. What you need? And oh, like a model. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. A model line. A model yeah, yeah, line. Model yeah, yeah. Line. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two meters wide, nine meters long, two it meters is, wide. It, was it is original. extremely long. Yes, it's an original autoboat. Michael just briefly explained it. He said autoboat was, there was such a boom in, what was it? 1901. There was such a boom in, 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 in the, the boat production yeah, that the, the car industry said, like, we need to be involved. We, we sell engines. Yeah. We can sell yeah. engines. Yeah. And but the car engine goes also with different exhaust in the boat. Exactly. Because so it's you like a lost opportunity. Yeah. We're selling all these cars, but we're missing out on the boat. They took a car engine, made it marine yes, application. Yes, completely correct. The and, but it's the same really, engine, pretty much the same, the same engine. engine. Pretty yeah. much it. Crazy. How long have you owned the shipyard? 2009, we opened that hall for the classic boats. And how did this happen? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why what? did when? you want to be in this? Ah, the problem is I have a very <laughs> old crazy father. Yes, I'm a little bit crazy. My father was a very old man. Yeah. And I learned from him when I was three, three and a half, four years old. We have yeah. only old boats, no young boats. And when I was that one, I go with the same type from that boat, a nine meter long alone over the sea. That's very cool. It's completely easy for sailing. It's so, the same than a car. So you're yep. basically yeah. saying this was like strictly passion that drove you into this. It wasn't like, oh, this is a great opportunity to make money because I think this is a yeah. really no, hard no, business. No, no, it's no, not, that, for right? not for the money, right? It's not for the money. It's not for the money. It's for the only passion. for fun. Only for yeah. the passion and fun. And when you one day with that type from boat on water, it's the same than one week holiday, the same. Believe me. Quality time of spending one week on the water with any other boat. You guys are totally nuts. Yeah. And I love I love this part of your wires right now. Speaking of nuts. Go. What do we have here? Go. Can you just <laughs> give us a quick like nuts. I mean there's so much to see here, right? There is one project from nineteen twenty eight comes one hundred years. Nineteen ah. yeah, five almost. years. Yeah. Back almost. in the same shipyard where he's built. So he built this boat is gonna be electric? I, just a moment. Oh, okay. Original <laughs> was with a Packard 8 in line. Packard, you know Packard, the yeah, American yeah, yeah, yeah. engine. Yeah, Packard engine, yeah. And was storage more than 30 years in a garage. And then in, in, a, garage, in a client, yeah. Yeah, in, a, yeah. in a garage, and a client buy that one, come to me, or oh, that's possible we can overhaul it. You have no problem, we can do it. And I need an electro engine inside. I live on a lake. Freshwater yes, yes, lake. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. And yes, we can do that. And he come here, we complete help him for overhauling. And as in that moment, it's an electro engine inside. Wow. Cup step up here and you hold it here. You can oh, look wow. inside. Oh, I can see it. Oh, it's, it's already it's, in. Yes, 30 kilowatt. The maximum power is 60 mm -hmm. kilowatt. Yeah, and yeah. normally for things 30, that's oh, okay. That's enough, yeah. And the range is for the capacity what we build is 300 kilometers. That's a lot. The original engine used to be yes. in here? In all outer boats, the original engine is in front from the same in the car. In front, uh -huh. you sit here, have the, I don't know, the, Ste the stick shift? Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. steering wheel and the manometers. Yeah, and it's yeah, the same yeah. in the car. And that, in that moment, is the battery here and the electromotors here. How many outer boater boat yeah, were yeah. there? Or oh, more than oh. three, four thousand. Three, four thousand. Okay. In How in was, the yeah. was there a difference between if it was not outer boater, was there a different type of boat? The difference was. That's an open cabriolet. You yeah. have here the top, yeah, that is a uh -huh. type limousine, autoboat limousine, the same than the car. Ah. You can sit in so, so, so really yeah. kind of like taking the car and putting it on the water. Yes. Did yes. you guys know this? If you knew this, put this I in the comments. If you know this. ever heard about this, put this in the comments. Because I'm very curious, because so, I've never heard of this. So this is also an Engelbrecht uh, boat? No, that's in Lösen. That's in Lösen. Lursen. From Lursen, yes. A Lursen, Lursen. 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 Yeah. Yes. What? What do you call this? A coupé? A no? limousine. A limousine. A limousine. 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 Mm -hmm. Built so in 1936. Are you guys restoring this one too? Yes, it's for a client when it comes and we can change with electro engine. He will have not so much money in that time. He spart, er spart. Yeah, he's saving. he's saving. He's money. saving money. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's a passion project. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. he wants this to be electric. Yes. Construction from all the outer boats is the same. 16 horsepower for 10 kilometers per hour sailing. Every 10 horsepower give you 16 kilometers an hour in speed. Yes. Okay. So yes. 20 would be 32. Yes. And, 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 so, and, on, and so on, so on, so on, so on. 
when you give more, it's not so fast. When you give 100, it's not 160 kilometers. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's very little energy yes, needed. It's not so much fuel. It's yeah, completely yeah. easy. You see the old ship in town for him, the big one, 30 meter long. Yeah. yeah. I tell you, 4.5 liters per hour in year. A yearly average fuel consumption of 4.1 liters per, per hour. hour. And you have 125 driving. people on board. Driving with 100. How many? 125 people on board. <laughs> With 125 people on board. That is fuel efficient. But yes. also that's the reason if you look at the hole, they're very, very long, yeah. really narrow, and it's a very efficient hole shape. Yes, efficient. That's the correct word. Yeah. Right. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> So everybody who was saw the wildcat with us. Yes. 27 liter madness, so much power, it's crazy. That was yes. a Rolls Royce engine. That was a Rolls Royce engine. engine yes. Do you think there is an opportunity there for bigger engines like this, let's say Rolls Royce, to go electric? That is a good question. If any of you guys know somebody at Rolls Royce R and D, connect us. Because we would like to put them yeah. together. Because I think that would yeah, be yeah. really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send us a message, Instagram, connect us. Very interested to find out a little bit more about it. Yeah, it can, you, inter it can you tell us about your book? Because it's in German, <laughs> yes. so I'm not able to read it yet. He can help you. But I, <laughs> but I know that you are writing a part yes, two, and yeah, it's yeah, going to be in English. in English. Yes. So, so what is the book about? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what is the book about? Only Autobot. From beginning. All about Autobot. To 1939. From the beginning, from the start, the first out of boat to and you, 39 begins the second war and then we stop it. And you and thought the Germans are the only ones who would be interested all, in this all, book? It all, shouldn't be in English? All, Come firm, on. all firms in the world yes. build out of boats, all firms. In America, the name was car boat, in French, canoe automobile. All oh, that sounds terrible. Canoe yeah. automobile? Yeah. Mm, Autoboat <laughs> sounds way better. Sorry, French. I don't want a canoe automobile. <laughs> canoe automobile. Can I have an autoboat, please? Or car Sorry, boat? that's weird. No, <laughs> autoboat sounds cool. So the yes. history. You yes. basically wrote a whole book on the history the of autoboats. Of autoboat. Yes. Ha! Huh, very cool. Can't wait for part two in English. Yes, I do. it. <laughs> Okay, so what is this? There's also an autoboat, only built uh, in Orly. That built also here in the hall in 1931. So this also was built here? Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's the original name. It was in that time completely concurrent to Lilson. Oh, it's competition? A competition. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big so, shipyard. So basically, you are an autoboat historian. Yeah. You know everything about this. Yeah. How many boats did they build? The archive is branding in the Second War, more than 10,000. <gasps> More so, than 10,000? So, so yeah, yes. so it burned down, huh? the archive. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Did they build big boats too? Yes, it was also yachts, sailing boats, fishing boats, big fishing boats. Wow. Yeah, in wood or steel, that was different, what the client need. Mm -hmm. I need in steel in is sink. This I don't steel? know. steel? Yes, it is steel. <gasps> And no oh, way! You yeah. know, I don't know what is in English. You need it. Rivet. Rivet. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I understand. Rivet it, yeah. yeah. Rivet it. So, wait a minute, so this up there, yeah, yeah, it's, it's also it. something like this here? Yes, yes, you see that one, two, three plates. Yeah, welded together. Yes. This is another project at some point. Yes, yes, yes. Every <laughs> year or two years comes a client, oh, what's that? Yeah, that's a nice auto board. Oh, Rico, cool. if I didn't know your dad, I would say this is complete madness. Yeah. But his dad has taken a few cars that look like this, like this, with yeah. and bullet holes in them. Beautiful when they were finished. Yeah. And they look like this old pickup afterwards. trucks, like old Chevys. Yes, and you the know, same, like, same. Yeah. Here, here, when we find that one, it was on land and come and wuchs a baum out. <laughs> there was a tree growing through this year. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, that's so, normally. So, what happened to this one? It gets delivered to the client, or is it waiting to be delivered? It's waiting. Or? We will change the engine to electro engine. Also, in, yes, in Berlin, more clients are electro. We have the big lakes here for drink water. It's so reservoir, problem. it's like reservoir. It's a reservoir. Yes, yes, yes. No you pollution, cannot pollute. No pollution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Well, okay, so show us one where it actually has a real engine. I mean, sorry, no, no, no offense, engine. no offense. Oh, I mean, a combustion yeah. engine, that's right. Okay, <laughs> then you look at But that first, one. what is this while you guys are walking by? This is a sailing boat ah. built in Netherlands. Was the idea from the builder with screws, normally all this just nailed, 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 yes, yeah, 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 nailed, yeah. with copper, copper yeah. nails, and that was the first boat with only screws. Crazy, nice torques. <laughs> yeah, yeah, new, the old new, one yeah, is not torques. Just to quickly show you, of course, there are the holes here now, 
they all get plucked. You see, all these are little plugs. They get pushed in and then wooden, sanded. Wooden, yeah. wooden plugs and then sanded down. So yeah. you have a beautiful ah, finish. Ah, that's how it's done. Okay, what's this? In America was the barrel back. In 1922 comes the barrel back. The motor in the middle. middle. In the middle. Yeah, it was the history from the oh, from the cars too no no from the cars from no? the efficiency with the boat oh, what is better not oh. so not so long shaft yeah 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 so the the, the, the weight cheaper, the weight, the weight cheaper, yes, in the yes, center yes, of the boat yeah. and you can go a little bit faster mm -hmm. sailing the engine in mid and today you know all engines really in the back yeah. in the back in the back, in the back yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah this was probably better balance yeah. you don't need any trim tabs yeah. no you yes. don't need anything yes completely and that's completely original overhaul it complete overhaul it's 1934 mm -hmm. 15 boats from that type built there's Engel, the shipyard engelbrecht mm -hmm. and one by mr porsche ferdinand porsche one by one original exact, from that exactly one. exactly exactly the same type with the other engine yeah that was the difference to the cars in the cars you buy a chassis in that time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and go to the carrossier you yeah, buy a yeah. chassis yeah 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 the rest mm -hmm. is getting built yeah. afterwards and in shipyards was the completely different the shape was original all the same mm -hmm. 15 from that type and you can check it what you need for an engine so you pick the that engine yes you so this, that what, what type is this? Or that type that that isn't like coming like 125 horsepower american engine american engine like they have in the airplanes yes. same thing they're still and, in business in the, in, in the car auburn mm -hmm. duesenberg yeah, du yeah duesenberg. Duesenberg. Yeah. duesenberg yes yes it's eight in line 125 horsepower so this is a big carburetor look it's the same in the aircraft <laughs> <laughs> So it's also very overpowered. Yeah, yes, yes. For this, for this boat, course, uh, 60 kilometers per hour at the time, 34 in German. But your guests sit far away from you. They yeah, sit in yes, the back. Yes, yes. Hello, <laughs> please help me. <laughs> it's really funny. What's this? <laughs> What's this? That is. It's not as long, and it's. Cute. Yes, it's cute. It's what is it? The clients, the money is every time the problem. When you have much money, you can have a big boat. When you have small money, you can have a small boat. Yeah. The German Automobile Club, ADAC, mm -hmm. make an Ausschreibung. I don't know the yeah, English. A bit, a bit, a bit. A bit. You need a boat, four persons can sit inside, mm -hmm. one steering wheel, minimum six, 16 kilometer per hour, mm -hmm. one pedal, yeah. two fenders, two lines, four clamps and light for 1,000. Reismark yeah. in that yeah. time. And all shipyards give the idea to the RDSA mm -hmm. and then one was the winner. And yeah. that was the winner prize for 1,000 Reismarks in 36. It's a small German DKW two-stroke engine inside. That's an Audi. It's in, yes. the, it's in yes. there? Yes, yes, yes. Right yes. Now? Very small, completely original. Just a moment. Zack. <gasps> Two-cylinder, two-stroke. So DKW is DKW, yes, right? D and, yes. And DKW is now Audi or known as Audi. Yes. One thousand mark. You had a boat like this. Yeah. Brand new. You brand new. You can. Unbelievable. Sailing with four person inside. You have a steering wheel, a, a map, map, a horn, and Amazing. lights. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. What do you guys see as a future for yourself? We have no future. <laughs> the future is. We build every time the old, repair it, overhaul it, and the future is that comes more and more with the electricity. With so the like electrical refits, yes, yes, yes. restoring. Yes. The Monaco Classic Week is just a passion thing for you guys. Yeah, that's cool. You yeah, just yeah, want yeah. to be part of it. Okay. Your boats, like, I, I felt like we were the odd ducks of the Monaco Classic Week. We were like the rogue rebels. I mean, I love it. You guys are so different from mm. anything really there. Thank and so you, you want to keep that. it yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's completely my life. That's who you are. <laughs> you want to keep that rebel energy. Monaco Classic Week is every two years? Every two years, yes, yes. What are you going to do in two years? Like, we, what's, we what's come, the plan? We come back for electro race. <laughs> electro race? <laughs> yeah. So you're talking electric, category race for Monaco Classic Week in two years. In two years. We hope that's that the, comes. That's the little the, dream. The little dream, yes. Let's make it happen. Who uh, is will, it? Will you with all boats, with Classic boats. But yes. will you be ready yes, in two ready. years? We are every time ready. You're for ready? All. We, 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 and maybe for maybe all. you guys win the race with that Lorsen powered with something very powerful, electric. You guys need to connect this with it's some possible. people. Who do you know? It's a, it's Who a do small you know? job get fitted, yes. I know you have another cool project that you yes, guys are working we, on. We built a that you old, can share with us. Old built near the water, five meters from water in Brandenburg. Town yeah. Brandenburg is a complete old rudder club. 
Hall. Also rowing club. A rowing a rowing, rowing, rowing. Old yeah. classic, club. A classic rowing club building. Yes, it's from 1908 and we complete the reconstruction that one and open in 24. And that was also a place for when classic boat comes for events. So next for year, 2024, yes, yes, it will yes, be open. Yes, yes. So it will be like a clubhouse? Yes, yes, it's, like the a same. Clubhouse. It's, it's a clubhouse. We have a dancing room, big and dancing you need, room. And you need some yacht yeah, tubers yes, to come and join. Yes, the, okay. join a, a and we need to come, right? Yes. Yeah, like we, yeah, have, yeah. Yes. we have, we have to, to be there, right? You've yes. We have yes. to. You have there comes a paper, yeah. comes a post, this post, no email, this post. No, no, a real invitation. We're getting a written invitation. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, we gotta go back to Monica. and everyone's so nervous around. <laughs> Pretty cute. So it's Prince Albert. It's Prince and Albert the, uh, and the general, general manager. manager of the Monaco Yacht Club. standing in the engine room of the boat, believe it or not. Unbelievable. This is uh, what starting up that engine actually did. Look at this. We have a huge crowd of people behind us now. Everyone's freaking out about this sound. It looks insane. Um, I just can picture myself like back in the days. Can you imagine when there was a race? What? Most important, that one. What is that? For the level from the fuel. 10 minutes running, check it. Every time, check it, check it, check it. You have to check it every 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. And how much do we have left? Oh. <laughs> We have 50 gallons. We started yesterday for on half hour. We have 75 gallons. <laughs> it's a big engine. Yes. It's like an airplane on the water. The I mean, really, oh. right? It is. It's an airplane engine, actually. That's... Carsten, do you know how much horsepower the engine roughly has? 650. So in the aircraft, is more. And this is the second step from that engine Merlin. The Merlin from the Spitfire. Yeah. And then in the Merlin was magnesium, and that is for the tank in aluminium. This uh -huh. is the same. With one carburetor, no uh, to uh, turbo, uh, no turbocharger. No turbocharger. Only the engine with one carburetor, 650 horsepower. So naturally aspirated, 650 horsepower. Yes. Wow. Did you guys hear this? And Holy moly! You can never tell me I'm crazy again. You no, you are, are nuts. incredibly you guys, crazy. You're crazy. You're just no, nuts. you're crazy. No, you are. You guys are nuts. <laughs> Who so, does this? So this is the sailing crew of Tuiga. 
the yacht of uh, Prince Albert de Monaco and uh, they are extremely professional when you see them at strong wind outside it's just amazing what they do. But right now we're actually working for Guinness Book of Records and we see how many people can we fit on a steam classic vessel. <laughs> I hope they all can swim. had to get away for a second. We are at the award show. They've given out so many awards already. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to be here this whole time because we were at the Cannes Yachting Festival for the rest of the days. It's just one day of fun for us. But it is uh, really exciting. I actually cannot believe how many people are here and a lot of people are getting recognized. So pretty cool. I gotta say pretty surreal just to think that in a week this whole space will be transformed again. It will be Monaco Yacht Show and we will be back here again. So yeah, pretty cool.